Turning Gophers into Vikings, we have to be excited about that. Welcome back to Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Persich. Now with the 165th pick in the 2022 draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Asazi Otomewa, defensive end from the University of Minnesota. Now Asazi possesses a lot of characteristics that are gonna fit well in this Donatel defense. Let's jump to the film and see exactly what I'm talking about. Now I know when the scouts looked at Otomewa, the one thing that they loved is his strength. And we're gonna see what that means in the pass rush game right here. You'll see Otomwewa on the outside right here and he gets into this offensive lineman. Now watch where the lineman's feet are. Toes pointed out, his footwork looks good. But when Asazi gets into him, he makes this guy turn and watch that foot. It opens all the way. He's opening the gate to the quarterback with his strength, comes off makes a great tackle, sack, safety, big time playmaker with that strength. So he has some power in the pass rush. How about a little finesse? This is a perfect example of a swim move. Now you don't see it a lot in the NFL, but this is a great place to start. You see Asazi on the outside, he sets up, gets in front of that offensive tackle. He's pulling him out. He feels that tackle widening his body and then he just redirects, gets the back of that offensive lineman gets in and makes the sack. A great little swim move. Now there are a lot of little characteristics that I'm sure the coaches here with the Vikings love about this guy. This next one is transition. That's where you start defending the run, transition into the pass rush. This is a great example of it. I know they love to see this on film, but you'll see this guard pulls and when he meets Asazi, Asazi has his arms out. Now he's gonna wanna get that down, deliver a little bit more of a blow, but as of right now, he doesn't know if this is run or pass but watch once he identifies that it's a pass. He's able to slap down the arm of that offensive guard, get to his back and put pressure on the quarterback. A great job of transition. Now this is one of my favorite defensive plays. It's called the jailbreak. This is when the offense screws up protection and you got a guy free to the quarterback. Asazi's on the outside, stunts underneath. Now look at this. These two guys don't know which way is up. You got two guys, blocking outside, forget about the most dangerous guy inside. Hey, when a sack is free, it's me and I'll take three. And Asazi gets in there, makes a huge play, brings down the quarterback. Now, one of the characteristics I really love about Asazi is his ability to be an interior pass rusher. We've seen him on the end, almost at outside linebacker. This is him as an interior pass rusher. Now watch his awareness in this situation. He's gonna loop underneath and his job right now, he's stuck, he's split between the center and the guard, he's getting double teamed, but he continues to press his way up field, but he notices there's this little lane opening up and I'm getting too far off the field, spins out, makes the sack. That's great feel for an interior pass rusher. All right, there are techniques as well that translate into the NFL. This is called the ricochet. Asazi pulls this one off beautifully. These are the things that an NFL defensive lineman has to be able to do. What is a ricochet? Well, the ricochet is just the defensive tackle is coming up the field, okay? And he is penetrating, but he's playing off of this tackle because this defensive end is gonna eventually loop underneath and they want these linemen to pass all of this off. Asazi does exactly what you want him to do. Get up the field, split that double team, and once that guard loosens up, you come off and you make a big sack. All right, so we saw the tech stunt. Well, what about the ET? Well, what's the ET? Again, he's demonstrating things that they want to do at the NFL level, okay? The ET, the end is coming first underneath. And the job of the defensive tackle is to pull this guard down. You'll see he has his right hand on the shoulder of that guard. He wants to make sure that when this end comes underneath, that guard will not be able to get off on him. And then after that end comes under, he loops around. Perfect execution of this type of stunt. As soon as that end gets underneath, he comes around, he's able to rally up and make the sack. Strength is a theme in Asazi's evaluation. We saw him strengthen the pass rush. What about against the run? In this case, you're gonna see against Wisconsin, this tackle really is just gonna turn out on to Asazi, but watch what he does. He gets those hands in there, beautiful pad level. Those arms extended, buckling this 300 plus pound man back. He's got that back arched. That is an amazing job of setting the edge. Something Donatel wants our defense to do. Makes that running back go up inside. And look, he's continuing, gets off, gets, in, gets into the pile. That's a great job holding the edge. 
Now, a common theme, I think, with all of our draft picks is effort. This is a great job, again, in a number of ways by Asazi on the outside. Just another outside type of run. Again, he gets to that spot, sets the edge. This is what Donatello is talking about, setting the edge. We saw it earlier. Pads low, arms out. He has this tackle beat. Now, the difference, though, forcing this running back inside, but watch how he finishes this play. He's not just happy with making this running back go inside. He gets off the blocker, downfield, jumping on the pile, 13 yards downfield. That's great pursuit for a defensive lineman. And finally, a great example of pursuit in the running game. In this case, you're gonna see the offensive linemen are trying to get outside. They're blocking down, trying to get to the second level. Sazie is collapsing chase. He's chasing from the backside, no worry about contain. Sees the play happen, gets parallel down the line of scrimmage. Now look at this. They had the gap here. If Asazi doesn't chase this thing down from behind, this is a huge run, but he's able to use his speed, get down the line of scrimmage and make a tackle. A really big play saving tackle by Asazi in that case. Now in summary, what we have with Asazi Otumwewa is strength. His ability to set the edge, his ability to be strong in the pass rush. And the coaches can teach him how you start with strength and then work with finesse off of that. I think the best of Asazi Otumwewa is yet to come.